push. Inhale, lower. Exhale, overhead push. Light weights preferred if you can start with heavy. <laughs> I don't have weights. I got to grab my tequila bottles. Inhale, lower. Exhale, push. Now listen, if you've got shoulder sensitivity, feel free to do bicep curls instead or do as many as you can until your arms burn out. All right, tequila bottles. One minute on the clock, already started. Everything we do today, 60 seconds, repeated four times, but we're gonna add variations as we build. So think about the strength that you're building. We always say strong arms equal a strong heart. 30 seconds down. We always say strong arms, strong heart, right? So when you find that fatigue point, if you don't have, let's say you got big heavy weight and you don't have the audacity to drop set, no problem. One at a time, lower and push. Strong arms, strong heart. In five, four, three, two. All right, right leg forward, runner's lunge. Take a little stretch, left hip down. Weight under your right arm only. We have a runner's lunge row, step back, single arm, wide renegade row. Step your right leg forward, single row. Step that right leg back, renegade row. You're on your own. Heavy weight in that right hand, as heavy as you can hold. To stabilize your plank, separate your feet, hip width or wider. Right leg steps forward, left leg stays stable. You can even drop your back knee like turnly, that's a great option. If your left knee's on the ground, you can actually lift and row heavier. If you keep your knee up and you've got lighter weights, feel your core work there. Today, working on making the mundane fun. I told you guys recently, one of my spiritual people, my, one of my therapists was like, Katie, you very vastly separate spirit, like your journey for inward understanding, and you separate fun, but they don't have to be separate, right? Eight, seven, six, five, four. You can choose to be on your knees, same arm. We go push up, side plank row to the right, one minute. Inhale, push up, side plank, row to the right. Some of you might feel comfortable doing this off of your knees. One, push up, right arm row through your side plank. Hit it. Clock's already on. Awesome. Push up, row and lift. That's it, Isla. Spit on the edges of your feet. I tell that to you because sometimes for me, fitness can even seem mundane, right? The rows and the presses and all the yada yadas. But I've got to figure out within the practice for me, what's fun. What's fun is feeling confident in my body. What's fun is feeling strong in my vessel. What's fun is trying to see if I can do everything that's asked and challenged of me. 20 seconds. Drop and lift and drop and lift. Let's go, let's go. You just ended part one of our block one of four. Three, two, kneeling overhead press. Let's do it, second time. All right, team, inhale, drop and push. Drop and push. Stay right here, I'm gonna add a little bit of intensity. You push and lean your right arm to the left as your left weight comes down. Reset, just one direction, push, Side bend, lean, come back up. Inhale, drop. Exhale, push. Left arm down, right arm up, and lean it. You can also take just one single light weight in the right hand. So Turnley's got 20s and 12s. I could ask her, like, oh, maybe once you fatigue out, put the 12 pounder in the right hand. Because as you're leaning sideways, you want to build some shoulder stability. You don't want to go too heavy. Awesome, perfect. Good, Carolina's got that nice ab side lean. 20 seconds, team. Let's see it. Drop it back, overhead press and lean. That's it, ML. You don't have to take the butt drop, but it might feel good to stretch the hamstrings. Oh, Haley, I like your dog friend just chilling on the couch. <laughs> I have one too, but she's currently very deep in a bone. There she is, Lola. It's my boyfriend's dog. <laughs> She's an old hag, but I love her. Ha. Let's go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. All right, team, left side, renegade row. 
left weight. Here we go, runner's row. Step back, renegade row left. Left leg forward, step back. Wide row forward, there we go. Remember, everything's 60 seconds after I demo that first one. But now that you guys know the three exercises, get right into it if you want the optimal burn. Awesome. And you can always steal this back turning whenever you need it. <laughs> oh, damn. Miracles in the mundane. So I just had, you guys know my mom's tubing event is coming up. Uh, the annual tubing event every year. It's the 20th annual because my mom died 19 years ago, but... We did one the year she passed. So, I'm like getting all these nitty gritty details. Sadly, the guy that owns the tubing company that I work with, he died of COVID, so the company is no more. So I've turned into my own tubing company. <laughs> I've bought 50 tubes and a U-Haul and a bus. We're gonna see how this goes. <laughs> but all these little details are really getting to me. Five, four, three, two. All right, here we go, push up. Open to the left, side plank, row up. Inhale, push up. Gonna find you and take it slowly. If you took the off the toe or off the knees option, push up and lift. Find the strength in the lift. So strong through those back muscles, your angel wings as you row up. Now shoulder sensitivity, you can always do this without a weight entirely. It's still hard with like that. Oh yeah, Emma. Roll it on. Roll it on to the heels of your feet. So that's why this week I'm theming on the miracles and the mundane, because all these nitty gritty details can get to you. The stuff that sometimes you feel like you have to do to get to the fun part. 10 seconds. What if everything in our life, the whole part of it, not just this or that, was the fun? Three, two, all right, team, on your knees, third set, drop, press, lean to the right this time, left weight stays up, drop it, push, press, right weight down, left weight over, and if that weight's heavy, make sure you look up at it to protect yourself, you never want weight falling on your head, drive and push, awesome, beautiful, all right, team, this is the last set of these specifically, so get deep into that lean, try to match the first side. Even these side bends, like I was working out this morning doing a similar, like I was planning for this workout. And as I'm going through the actions and the motions, I'm like, ugh, why can't I just stay strong? Like why can't my body just stay in that strong feeling? Doesn't work like that. You gotta put in those little steps that add up to that big difference. Awesome, 10 seconds. You gotta maintain those little kind of mundane steps so that you can have the feeling of strength. Three, two, right leg forward, let's go. Right leg row, step back, one single arm, renegade row. Right leg forward row, last time on the right. You can always also tabletop row, step the leg forward, drop your knee and row. See, it's the last one of these. Try your best with your heavy and then drop set if you need. Just that right side. So here's the thing, like every day we have to do stuff to have fun. Here I am like building, building, building to the end point, my mom's event. The day of, I've really learned that it's like anticlimactic. Actually, most of the time I enjoy the efforts that go in to planning this day, right? Or whatever big event it is. Let's say it's a vacation. I enjoy the little steps that I take to get to it, right? And then when I'm there, I'm like, oh, oh shit. Now what do we do? <laughs> Three, two, one. Side plank, push up. Let's do it. Oops, no push up, my bad. Oh yes, push up. Inhale, push up. Right arm, side plank lift. Inhale, push up. Right arm. Last one on this side. Now let's say you're doing the whole thing on your knees. Your challenge in this final round is to do two on your knees, two off your knees. Let's say you're badass and you're doing the whole thing off your knees. At the top, what if you hung and covered your right leg? It's a push up, row, kick that right leg up. Push up, row, kick the right leg up. 
So basically all of the weight has to stay in your left foot. You got 20 seconds to finish this. All right, team, I know I can't hear you, you're on mute. Or if you're watching this later, you're in the future. But if you guys can feel your arms transforming, can I get a hell yeah? Hell yeah, arms! Come on, strong arms. Strong heart. Strong arms. Strong heart. Last five, four, three, two. Last set. Oh my God. Inhale. Exhale, drive, push. Lower down. You got options. Stay right here. Exhale, overhead press. Options. Drop the weight. Half burpee. Overhead press. Drop to your knees. Overhead press. Half burpee. Overhead press. Drop to your knees. Overhead press. Let's go. That's only if you want to add a little bit of lower body and cardio into the mix. You don't have to. It's a great alternative if you want to pick up that energy. What? Oh. Carolina's just overachieving with a push-up over here. <laughs> Good. If eight minutes or four minutes of push-ups isn't enough for you, then you can add more push-ups right here. Go for it. Eight. <laughs> Seven. Six. We're all going to end on a burnout overhead press in four. Three. Just 15 seconds, guys. Let's go. Just 15 seconds. Push, drop, push, drop. If you need to alternate, alternate. Come on, go. Ha, ha, eight seconds, let's go. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Left leg forward, row in that runners. Step it back to high plank, row the left arm. Left leg forward, row. Renegade row, single side, left side only. Your left leg is gaining mobility. Woo, that's it, Tati, way to drop low. More that you know. So it's a hot day today in San Diego. And we always tell you that like my thermometer in my house, it goes up as we work out. So we have to keep the windows closed. Well, it started today at 81. So we'll see how high my, my hot yoga studio house gets up to today. Oh yeah, Carolina, good row. Let's go, Haley, use that heat as our friend. We got eight. We got seven, row hard, six, five. Give me at least two more good ones. Asking your back to show us who's boss. Angel wings, strong arms, strong heart. Three, two, push up, side plank to the left. Push up, side plank to the left, let's go. Final minute of this nasty, nasty 12 minute block. Good. I want you guys to remember all of this amazing back work as you build into the week, team. Inhale. Exhale. Drive it up. Oh, yeah. Finding fire in the lift. Your side abs love this. As you roll onto the side, your obliques tone under your arms. So here, final 20 seconds. If you add that kick on the last side, add that high kick. Yes, it's a little mundane. I get it. But guess what? There are certain little miracles in the fact that we can even do this. That we can even do a push up. That we can even do a side plate. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Ooh. All right, breathe, breathe. Right leg forward. You guys have done these with me before. It's like Captain Morgan style. Drop your ass back. Upright row, layer one or overhead snatch, layer two. Drop your ass back, overhead snatch, or upright row for shoulder sensitivity. Let's go, booty back. Use your hips, thrust. Lower back, hips, thrust. Go, Ho. Nice. They're supposed to be heavy enough that you have to use the momentum of your hips. If it doesn't feel good to do the overhead press, drop it back. Row back at the top like a wide upright row. Good. 15 down. Let's do it. Let's do it. You're over halfway through this workout, guys. Let's dig. Oh, good, Charlie. She's already grunted like a maniac over here. If you want, you can drop set. No shame in the game, guys. Oh! 20 seconds. Ha! Drive up. Ass out. 
core tight. You're gonna hold one heavy ass weight or two light ones together in five, four, three, two, crescent lunge, overhead tricep, bend, extend, bend, extend. I'm holding like a high crescent, just a stagger stance. If you're not interested in that low back or, or leg work, hold it and just like a tiptoe on your back left foot. Minutes already started, hit it. Nice. Straighten your arms hard. <laughs> I love your watch tan. I know, right? <laughs> Caroline has worked out so much in the sun, she has a watch tan. I love it. Squeeze it. Yes, Tati. Hug your elbows in a little harder, girl. Oh, yeah. That's it, Hales. Hales, that actually looks pretty light for you, so next time you too. <laughs> Let's go. Eight. Seven. Get uncomfortable. Four. Three. Two. Low lunge. Twist your right arm high. No weights. No weights. Look up at your right hand. Breathe in. Then put your hands down. Switch your legs. Look up at your left hand, twisted low lunge, hop switch, 60 seconds, already started. Hop switch, twisted low lunge. If you're not a hopper, you can step step. So you step to plank, to runners. Lift, hop switch. Building hip mobility, even though it's an upper body day, we're still able to get that hip mobility necessary for the low snatch when you're on your knees. Nice, Emo. If you guys can pick it up, you're over halfway. 25 seconds to go faster. <sighs> nice, Hales. Way to squeeze your back muscles at the top. When you twist, squeeze your back together. Rock, sand. Let's go. <sighs> Hoo -hoo. We got eight, seven, six, five. Meet me with your left leg forward. Three, two, snatch it. Round two, left leg forward, ass back, snatch up, ass back, snatch up, inhale, push it up, blocks already started, oh yeah. So especially if you've got heavy weights for you, you don't have to do many reps to make this effective. When I lift at the gym, I'm typically doing like 10 to 15 reps, depending on my weight. So I start lighter and I go 15 or 16 reps, then I go a little bit heavier, then I'll go more like 12 reps. Then the third round, I go as heavy as I can, and maybe I'm getting eight to 10 reps, right? You want that exhaustion point. If you have lighter weight, move at a pace that makes you feel exhausted by the end of it. 10 seconds. Maybe you need to go a little heavier, just like I told Haley for round two. Overhead triceps, bend, extend, 60 seconds. This can be extremely taxing on your low back. So if that's you today, pull your abs in. If that doesn't work, step your foot in and put the majority of the weight in your left foot. Inhale, lower, exhale, drive up. Awesome. Bend and push, nice Carolina. Driving into your left foot. Oh yeah. Love the drop set, Isla. Or did you pick up your second weight? <laughs> okay, good, good. <laughs> you got it, Tati. 20 seconds. Every time you straighten your arms, it's a crunch in your abs. It's like, here I come, I'm ready. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Power strong, guys. Four. Come on, Hales. Last three. Way to do both. Two. Twist it. Let's go. Twist and jump. Last set is if that's like this. We're going to change it up in round three and four. Twist, look, squeeze your back. Twist, look, squeeze your back. Pull your core muscles in as you twist. Let's go. Nice. Hop, twist. So good. ML. Everyone, 20 seconds. You can feel your heart rate going up and you're like, shit, I'm in that fat burn zone right now. There is no question in my mind that something is changing. My body, my mind, my heart, and my love, you of myself. Last three, two, right leg forward. 
same snatch. Option for a side bend. Ready? Snatch up. Right hand reaches down. And look up at the left wing. Come back up. And all the way down. We'll put arm and knee together. Snatch it up. Right hand reaches. Look up at the left as you lean. Get back under it. Drop it down. Doesn't have to be fast. Definitely has to be good form. Lean. Curl and press. Drop it back down. Already halfway. We're taking all the parts that we've worked on this whole class and adding it in. That muscle memory is going to bring you back to the fatigue point. So you can go right there. And we're already in that muscle memory saying, oh yeah, I remember. I can do this. I can feel this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three. Overhead triceps. Get up on your feet. Bend, extend. Round three of four. Right leg forward. That's it, Carolina. Oh, last day. If you have shoulder sensitivity and it's feeling a little tight in your rotators, a lot of people suffer from that. That's okay. Try that kick back. Just keep them back high and fast. You've got 40 seconds. Let's see. Flying with strength. Yeah, hug your elbows in. Do a check. If you guys can still hear my voice, you're not doing it right. Hold your biceps by your ears. Unless you have ear pods in, then you're up. Then that's how it works. Everyone, 10. Let's go nine. Come on, I know it hurts, but that's the place where we get to decide that it's miraculous. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, team, watch my runner's jump. Runner's lunge, tap, switch. Tap, switch. I have tented fingertips, or you could be up on your weights. Let's go. Tap, switch. Tap, switch. Tap, switch. Holding on to the tips of your weights gives you an extra couple inches for that jump to happen. Not interested in the jump? You're always welcome to do reverse lunges. No weights, but make sure your heart rate is up. The objective is high heart rate. Digging in. 20 seconds. Yes, I freaking can. Woo, good. Like a little grasshopper. Right in my life. Uptown 